Welcome to the video. In this one I want to talk about the difference between compounded testosterone cream and the commercial gels. I have been talking a few years now about compounded 20% testosterone cream. I have been using it myself since 4 years. I made several videos about all the advantages and disadvantages of this method of testosterone replacement therapy. But up till today I still get a lot of questions about confused viewers of the videos that say what about the androgel, can I also put it on my scrotum, why doesn't that work and so on. In previous videos I have been saying that commercial gels like this one with 1-2% to testosterone gel are worthless. They are not able to increase your testosterone levels to a level that will alleviate all your low testosterone symptoms. That's why we have been using the compounded testosterone cream. Cream is not, like gels, alcohol-based, so it will not irritate your skin. The gels are alcohol-based and they will give you a kind of irritative contact eczema on the scrotum. It will hurt your skin and will make your scrotum itch like... Because the gels are only 1 to 2%, you have to use quite a lot, so you will have to apply it to the arms, the shoulders, the chest and so on. With the compounded 20% cream, you can apply a tiny bit, this is a topic lick system, you will have to apply a tiny bit to the scrotum, where the absorption through the scrotal skin is up to 8 times the absorption of the other skin. So since 4 years I have been using this NP Labs testosterone cream for 20%, twice a day, 1 to 2 clicks, that's 100 to 150 milligrams twice a day. Use the link in the description of this video to get 5% off on your first order with the online pharmacy NP Labs and they ship worldwide. So let me know in the comments of this video whether you have been using or trying this cream, what you found personally the best, injections or the cream and if you have any more questions on the cream, let me know in the comment section of this video. See you in the next one.